All right, welcome back to Conquering Commander. Going over another game with my Sand Triplets deck. Um, again, this is a deck that was uh, created with the various restrictions, so it's not going to be exactly how I wanted to build it, but it's pretty close. Uh, today, oh yeah, if you want to see the deck list, go to puremcgo.com and go to uh, Conqueror and Commander, and you should see the complete deck list there, as well as the restrictions that were placed on it. Um, today, we're going to be going up against Ragnar, uh, Bant, Child of Alara, and Rakdos, Lord of Riots. I'm just going to tell you up front, all these guys are control decks. So things that are going to be on the table aren't going to last long on the table. Um, this deck game has a lot of back and forth. Uh, and as such, I thought it was going to be uh, pretty good to play. And I'll be honest, I win this deck purely for the fact that I stuck through the whole game. I think at the end, this was almost a three hour game uh, in real time and um, I think in the end people just got tired and quit. <laughs> Honestly. My hand has a bunch of land so I'm happy with it with a Vindicate and we'll just go from there. Early turns aren't all that exciting. Quilling, Quilling Oracle reveals Rift Sweeper. Ragnar's a blink deck. Um, so you're going to see a lot of enter the battlefield kind of guys. I don't really have a whole lot going on in the early game. There's Farhaven Elf to help Ragnar ramp. And he attacks the Child of Alara player. You know, Child of Alara is typically a, uh, you know, blow up the world kind of deck. Sylvan Library, always fun. Rakdos uses Armillary Sphere. I don't want to use Bajuka Bog yet. I want to see at least one or two cards going to the graveyard. Ragnar is ramping again, and he continues to attack the Child of Alara player. Here's Volrath Stronghold. With explosive Vegetation. Manic Vandal is going to come out and blow up with the co Coalition rel Relic. I'm going to continue to do nothing because. Oh, there's Sun Titan to get the relic back. And I get hit. Child of Lara decides to draw cards with the Sylvan Library. And ends up... God, what the heck just happened? Oh, he cast Day of Judgment. And then used Bajuka Bog to get rid of Ragnar's Graveyard. It's funny, sometimes the replays go really fast, and sometimes they go really slow. So, every, every once in a while I'll, I'll miss stuff and have to go back. Rakdos casts Painful Omen, or Quandary, Painful Quandary. Um, yeah, that's annoying as crap. <laughs> so I'm just going to suck it up and uh, vindicate it for the team and take the 5 damage. And cast Phyrexian Reclamation. There's Rift Sweeper. It's going to get Sun Titan back. Rift Sweeper is one of those cards that, like... Um, can, you know, it's pretty useful. Because things get exiled a lot. And I, I just... I think that, you know, sometimes you're going to want to get them back. Especially if you have a lot of tutors in your deck. To get specific cards back. So, you know, Rift Sweeper is kind of an underplayed card. He did a uh, Eternal Witness to get uh, Wargate back. Wargate's a nice little tutor that puts things directly into play. So let's see what the child player does. Play. Child player does not draw from Sylvan Library. But he does play Vorinclex. <laughs> Vorinclex is just mean. <laughs> Not my favorite creature. Of course it is a creature, so yes, you can destroy it, but like I've got no answers to it right now. So hopefully somebody else does. Oh, he, Rakdos does with Oblivion Stone. So he basically sacrifices a turn to Oblivion Stone and wipe the board. I'm fine with that. I lose my Reclamation. I play Coalition Relic and Jace, and I let everybody draw. Woo! Just to get his uh, loyalty up a little bit. And then I'll start poking myself with Jace. Wargate brings Revelark out. 
Now, the two cards he has in his graveyard that it can target are Eternal Witness and Rift Sweeper. So, I guess that's okay. Child plays Sylvan's Crying for Vesuva to Bajuka Bog. <laughs> Ragnar again. <laughs> that's kind of funny. There's a lot of Bajuka Bogs in this one. Uh, yeah, so then Rakdos plays his own Bajuka Bog to get rid of Child of Lara's Graveyard, which had Vorinclex, a bunch of green stuff, and Day of Judgment. There's this Explosive Vegetation, Sylvan Library, Burning Catacombs. So all that's gone now. There's my Hex Mage for use with Dark Depths if necessary. I go ahead and play the triplets because I got nothing else I really want to do right now. Sylvan Ranger from Ragnar. And Child of Lara gets attacked. Oh yeah, he, he Sylvan tutored or he uh worldly tutors for Keterick Leviathan. So this is gonna keep permanence from being on the table for very long. Because he's going to bounce it, and then he's going to bounce it again, and then he's going to bounce it again. I mean, Leviathan is just a good stall card. I've used it in the past. And, uh, oh yeah, he Snapcasters. <laughs> and he's trying to activate his Moss War Bridge, but he can't. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, the Lark doesn't bring anything back, because there's nothing in his graveyard. There's Lobber Crew. Lobber Crew's a fun little Rakdos enabler. Bloodspeaker. So he's got more than one demon in it. So Trinket Mage is going to go search up Soul Ring. And then Grave Pact. Because I'm hoping that. Oh, hey, look. He miracles into Devastation Tide. Which is going to balance everything. This is this is just silly because it's going to balance Keterek Leviathan again, so he's going to be able to Leviathan again and blah 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 blah. He copies Wasteland. There's Solemn Simulacrum again. Now he, here's Labrakou again. Hold on, he managed to somehow. Get Devastation. Oh, he cast Recollect, getting Devastation tied back. So he's got Keterek Leviathan and Devastation tied back in his hand. And it's like, well, crap. So nothing's really going to happen. But I'm going to be able to recast Trinket Mage again to get more um, stuff. So we all replay our stuff again. There's Phyrexian Arena. Soul Ring for Trinket, or for Coalition Relic. Oh yeah, he's got Alchemist Refuge, so he can start casting stuff now too. Rex and Arena, Trinket Mage. I, I shouldn't have cast the Arena here. What I really should have done was Jace Bellerin, and then make myself draw. If I really want to stop all the the balancing madness, I could Time Spiral, but instead I feel like I can get a bunch of like my one mana artifacts out. There's Keterok Leviathan. Oh, his Alchemist Refuge got wastelanded. There's Increasing Ambition. And Mana Barbs! Holy cow, Mana Barbs. Um, okay, so I finally can use my Bojuka Bog to get rid of the Increasing Ambition in Rakdos' graveyard. Um, mana Barbs, wow. It's a good card with Rakdos, but man, it hurts. There's all the stuff in his graveyard. Soul Ring. Might as well search up more mana, or artifact mana, so I don't get killed by mana barbs. You know, there's just no reason to play around my mana barbs right now, because everybody else is going to have to deal with it. So I'm going to play Trinket Mage again. I think this time I'm going to go for, yeah, Elixir. To gain a little life and get some stuff back. I end up discarding Send Triplets. There's Sylvan Ranger, again, for more land for Ragnar. So 
So yeah, I'm down to 25 because of mana barbs. Gale Powder, Mage is a fun little bouncer, blinker. Ragnar gets hit a little bit with mana barbs. There's Revelark again. His wasteland got wastelanded. Child of Lara is gonna bounce everything with Devastation tied again. There's Devastation tied again. Gosh, which Oh, time reversal. So he's tired of his own shenanigans. <laughs> but he time reversals specifically probably to get rid of mana barbs. Soul Ring, Dark Steel Ingot. And Furnace of Wrath. That's scary, right? So I'm going to just uh, Simulacrum out. And put Elspeth out to put a bunch of little dudes out. I'm going to wait until there's another enchantment out to, so that I can return to Dust Furnace of Wrath something. Hey, Trastodon. He gets rid of all the bounce lands. That's interesting. It's, a, it's mana hurt. And then he gets rid of Full Wrath Stronghold, the Furnace of Wrath, and my Elspeth. So now that everybody's got a bunch of elephants. It, but it, it is a little interesting that he gets rid of everybody's bounce lands. Um, he's trying to, like, slow everybody down. Let's see here. Um, Genesis Wave from Child. And he hits Sun Titan and Soul Ring and a couple other cards. And Dark Steel Ingot. Or not, Dark Steel Plate. Hold on, dude. My kid's yelling again. Let's see if I can pacify him real quick here. There we go. I'm stuck at home because my nanny got sick. <laughs> so I'm doing this while my kid's watching TV. Alright. <clears throat> so Sun Titan is annoying. Dark Steel Plate's annoying. There's Keldon Fire Bombers! Kabooow! So everybody gets set behind with their mana. Yeah, that's not fun. And then Malfagor comes up. Wow. But Child of Lara still has Sun Titan, so he can get his lands back. Return to Dust seems... I go ahead and attack a couple people. Oh my gosh, this is such a long game. I return to Dust the Soul Ring and the Dark Steel Plate. Ragnar brings Yavmaya Rangers out. He's going to start ramping again. Sun Titan attacks me. I decide to block. Vorath Stronghold comes back from Sun Titan. And then he corrupted Consciences Malfagor. So he's got a 6-6 six, six Flying Infect guy. I get attacked. I'm kind of like... There's Rakdos. I get Maze of Ith just to protect me, and Bitter Blossom to protect me. Because there's some big flying scary stuff out there now. Ragnar plays Fierce Empath for Sun Titan. Uh, to get more land, probably. Sun Titan attacks me again. I take it. <coughs> oh, no. <clears throat> I block. My bad. Hey, there's Kozilek. All of a sudden, he's got enough mana to freaking Kozilek. Right after Kelvin Firebombers. So, all these guys are going after Ragnar. Ragnar's down to four. Blasphemous Act wipes everything. Oh my gosh. So, I'm at 19. Ragnar's at four. Child of Lara is at 19. Rakdos is at 31. Luckily, I'm drawing some land, so I'm happy about that at least. I've got some stuff in my graveyard I can play back with the Ogmas Will, but I just don't have enough mana to really cast the Will and play all my stuff. 
So right now, Will is a dead card. I do have Increasing Devotion, so I can bust out a bunch of little dudes at least. And I've got Spell Crumple, but I'm holding off on that. It's probably not smart. Like, a real control player would have sat back on Spell Crumple, but I'm not a real control player. There's Sun Titan getting more uh, Moss Warp Bridge back. <clears throat> hey, Tooth and Nail! For Keterek Leviathan and Eternal Witness. Oh my gosh. So we're going to start all this craziness again. So they built everything. Yeah. The Witness brings back um, Tooth and Nail again. With their Soul Ring. Oh, he blinked his Sun Titan so that he could get more land back. Oh my gosh. Darksteel Ingot. So now I've got enough mana to cast Bitter Blossom and have Spell Crumple mana. Because obviously Charter Blar is going to play uh, Tooth and t Nail again. Phyrexian Metamorph is going to copy Sun Titan to get another land back. And then you have my um, Druid Dryad. It's going to get more land. I'm, I'm just behind on the mana race here. He attacks... Child of Alara, hoping that Keterk Leviathan isn't going to bounce again. So, Rakdos gets attacked. Here's Tooth and Nail again. I've got Spell Crumple, right? But the best part is, Ragnar busts out his own Tooth and Nail from underneath Mosswort Bridge. There it is. My goodness. There's Karmic Gaiad and Frexian and Chester. At least the Ingester is going to get rid of the Keterok Leviathan. Karmic Guide is going to bring back something. Oh, Trastodon! Hey, to get rid of my Bitter Blossom. Yeah, some land. Dark Depths does nothing for me. Uh, but I do have Yogmas Will so that I can get another land at least. I have Bujuka Bog, Ragnar's Graveyard again. And I play Bitter Blossom for my graveyard. Man, just back and forth, all over the place. But I'm out of cards. Hey, Acidic Slime's going to blow up my Maze of Ith. Sweet. Luckily, he spreads love around so that I'm going to be able to marshal Coup next turn. Oh, Condemn brings him back up to 13 life. Child's at 6. There's Ragnar coming out to play. Freaking acidic slime. Oh no, he he evacuated. That's right, Child of Alara evacuated everything. Which screws up my martial coup plan. Eternal Witness is going to grab what? What are you going to grab? Praetor's Council from his graveyard. And he's got a pretty big graveyard right now. But he's only at 6. Hopefully somebody can do something to him, right? He's at 6. Nope, nobody's going to be able to do anything. Uh, a Merry Angel. Oh, yeah. I completely forget how goofy this game turns. <laughs> you guys are going to like this after a while. There's a bird. I play Dark Depths. You have my Dryad comes out to ramp him some more. There's Breeding Pool. Acidic Slime is going to come out to kill... He starts killing Child of Lara's uh, lands, Exotic Angel, or I'm sorry, Exotic Orchid. Demir Aqueduct comes out. Right of Replication, just once, because he wants to ramp some more. This is where things get goofy. Hey, look, it's Thieves Auction. Holy freaking cow. Right? So, the smart people, I'm not one of them, go for a Merry Angel early on because they're going to have all their lands come in afterwards. I go for Bajuka Bog to wipe out uh, people's graveyards. <laughs> Bitter Blossom. And then I want a bunch of lands so that I can... Um, Marshall's coup 
after um, okay dude everything's done here he does eternal witness big brother the child of Lara guy eternal witnesses for the Praetor's Council I think or a right right of vocation I think doesn't matter so you're gonna have two copies because Phyrexian Metamorph copied the Amaria Angel of a Mary Angel and a bunch of birds come out. Doesn't really matter to me though because I can Marshall's coup and wipe them all out. Would have been nice if I got some sort of draw card, but look, birds everywhere. Tons of birds. Thieves auction. Holy cow, who would have expected that? Oh, I've got time spiral too. So I, I, <laughs> I knocked the child player down to four, and then I marshal scoop. But, you know, th like, everybody's playing control, so it's not going to really matter, right? I mean, <coughs> somebody's going to have an answer and is going to wipe the board, or there's going to be more goofiness coming around. Oh, there's Sun Titan back. Sun Titan gets back. Moss War Bridge again. So I'm at 17. Oh, there's Miss Meadow Witch. Child is at four. Rakdos is at 18. There's Rite of Replication kicked on Sun Titan. Woo! Sweet. Getting Eternal Witness back. But I took out his graveyard, I think. Maybe? I don't remember. I think I did. But he's got a bunch of six sixes now. Rexing Reclamation, and I'm going to Time Spiral, because I've got nothing else to do. There's White Sun Zenith and Mystical Tutor, Mary Angel, Coastal Piracy. I play Coastal Piracy, and I attack. No! Keep th Don't show that message again. I go after Ragnar. Oh, child concedes. That's right, child conceded. And I mystical tutored for vindicate. So that I could draw the vindicate. <clears throat> I played coastal piracy to draw a bunch of cards. Oh my gosh, so long. And I vindicated Miss Metal Witch. Oh no, Sun Titan, that's right. There's Frost Titan. And then he concedes. <laughs> and when all these guys concede, um, Rakdos lost all his land. So he conceded too. <laughs> this was a 20 turn game that was like three hours long. And I was in a pretty good position, mainly because I had Scroll Rack and Hex Parasite uh, with Dark Depths out. I could have brought Merit Lage out after a while. Or I could have, you know, expelled out White Sun Zenith. Oh my gosh, just a long back and forth game. Goofiness all around. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that. Might not have been the best uh, recap, but it was still a ton of goofiness.